let me just tell you actually what we are talking about as we come back from the break. They're saying that the new trade policy is really just quite lackluster. Export targets are down by a lot, 14% to be precise. The major initiatives offered are not that major at all, really. Well, to make sense of it, we have invited Zuber Tufel, who is the former chairman of the FPCCI. He's going to talk to us about this. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast Thank at Dawn. Much. If you hadn't turned up, I would have felt I would have taken it personally, I have okay. to tell you. <laughs> because there would have been the second day yes. in a row that a guest had stood me up. So, uh, tell me, do you think that this trade policy is lackluster, like the papers are saying? I would say the trade policy which I could read up to now, uh, the targets set are uh, very modest. 6% growth would have come automatically. They should have given, uh, growth should have been at least for 10% 10, 10 because uh, I'm sure our exporters, with a little effort, they can achieve 6%. And what we are tar targeting 6% from where? Our last year's export targets were 19 point some billion dollars and we actually done less than 18 billion dollars and then we are saying we will do something 6% more than this 17 point some billion dollars. So, but the actual potential of our economy is much more than this. What they have targeted 6, I believe that the economy will show export increase of more than 10% in next year because our things are like agriculture, cotton, cotton crop this year is expected much better than what it was last year. Last year cotton was around 11 billion, million bales and this year we are anticipating cotton for about 14 million bales. So this will automatically give enough raw material to the industries which are already closed. At the moment about 125 uh, textile units or spinning units are closed and I believe with the arrival of sufficient cotton we will be in a position to restart many of those uh, closed spinning mills. So I foresee that our total export target should ex exceed more than 10% in next year. All right, now let me just uh, read out a couple of messages. We've got Jingoist who says that, uh, well, you know, it's uh, quite obvious that the export growth should uh, go up uh, according to the trade policy. What goes up, what goes down, will eventually go up again, even if a little bit. And then I have David from Islamabad who says that if Pakistan's exports are going up during a global recession, who's buying? Can you answer that? Uh, I would like to say that our major export is textiles, which is uh, roughly 60% of our total exports. And uh, whatever we are exporting in textile are the low-end products. Our products are not uh, branded products. Uh, of famous branded products, whatever we are exporting in textiles or in the fabrics, they are the just uh, basic qualities of those grades. So I don't foresee that there will be any drop, further drop in our exports. And it is quite easy to achieve uh, so uh, this 6% target, but I would rather say that our textile exports can go up by 10% in the coming year. Actually, we were talking about that before we went on the break, and you were saying that you know they should have set the target at 10% yes. rather than 6% because we would have met the 10%. But I find that, you know, it, to me, that's very smart, yes. that if you have the capability of 10%, and then you say that you have 6%, you exceed your target, so of right. course you come out looking good, right? Well, I, th I don't feel this is good for the governments. The governments, if they want to play very safe, all right, but generally speaking, you are talking about the economy of the country. Yes. So when you are talking for the economy of the country, you have to set the realistic uh, uh, numbers. And realistic number is 10% is realistic number. That's why they have put 10% growth uh, in uh, one year after. Then they have put 13% uh, for the third year. So my, in my opinion, it would have been better in the the government should have kept 10% for first year and 12% for second year and 14% for the third year. Because our economy, our, uh, in our industry and economy, we have the potential to do that. And at the moment, whatever we are exporting, we are exporting at the time when the prices of our products are lowest in the history of the last 10 years. Uh, okay. So doesn't that mean that that's, that sounds bad to me, that the, the, our products are... I would say not bad, but they should have put it at 10% would have been better. Then there was also some challenge for the exporters. If exporters know that they just have to meet this 6%, they can do it. I think they can do it very easily. But it is much better if they put it 10% and exporters, exporters and the industry has to make some effort 
to reach this target because uh, last year they missed the target with a big gap. That's right. So that is uh, that was not a good sign. So now is the challenge that we should come back. The exporters, the industries should come forward and they should achieve at least 10 percent exports increase in the next year. Okay, let me also uh, put uh, forward these uh, comments. Khan Idea says, if you look at fundamentals, how can export grow? Law and order is on the downside. There are power problems. Textile exports are down by 9.27% in the past 10 months. Uh, Max Robinson says, exports can only go up if buyers feel Pakistan is safe and reliable enough to do business. Pakistan products are great quality. It's time to show the world. And um, Asif Khan asks how reliable and comp comparable is this data? Which sector is contributing to this rise? We now know that, that as you say, it's the textile. Uh, now, so, so the question is that you are saying that our, if the, the target had been a little higher, it would have pushed the industry, right? But the industry constantly complains of being crippled by the power problems, right? Faisalabad mm -hmm. in particular, which is the hub of our textile industry. But you still think that it would be fair to push this industry? You see, power problem, everybody knows. In Pakistan, from one young small kid to the person on the highest position, everybody knows that we have a power problem. And I would also like to say that uh, there is, uh, we cannot change overnight the power situation of power problem. It will take two to three years. Sometime our ministers, especially the water and power minister says that load shedding will go in the end of December 2009, which I don't believe. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. I think, you see, situation can improve. Situation can improve. We have a shortfall of 4,500 megawatts. And I don't think that uh, we have done enough that by the end year we will be in a position to put up 4,500 megawatts. If we put up even 2,500 megawatts in the system by the end of this year, it will be a big relief. So we have to believe it. I have to tell you that yesterday we were talking about this very same subject and Munawar Basir, who is the former managing director of PEPCO, said exactly the same thing. Uh, mm. Anyway, we've run out of time okay. now, so I'm afraid uh, we, we can't uh, really go on okay. with this. I just wanted to read out the comment that uh, was sent in. Thank you so much for being Thank part you. of the program. Okay, well, we are going to take a very short break, but we will be right back. Stay with us here on Breakfast at Dawn.